and welcome back to Sandy's Slant on Everything. I was diagnosed with gastroparesis yesterday. It was kind of expected, but there was something wrong with my stomach. And for the past year, I have been very sick. And um, the past month, they've been running a whole lot of torture. <laughs> tests on me, all the cameras where they shouldn't go, and uh, drinking all the nasty things that are radioactive. I joked to my husband, if I start glowing in the dark, please tell me. <laughs> and um, when they got all the test results back in, um, most of them had come up saying everything was fine, except for I had swallowed a smart pill, and the smart pill took 21 hours to get through my stomach and the normal is four. So I asked the doctor what the longest he had seen and he said about that so you're right there at <laughs> the longest to get through your stomach. I had when I was younger um, thought I had anorexia nervosa that I was actually doing it to myself, but I was young and didn't know any better. And now I know that um, because I have autism, or they may not even be connected, but I think, I think, that because I have autism, um, a lot of autistic people have uh, gastrointestinal problems, and um, mine probably started very early with um, things sitting in my stomach so long they cause pain and the logical thing to do for a logical person which an Asperger's person is is to um, Asperger's is the form of autism that I have um, is to not eat so for about a year and a half almost two years I didn't eat when I was 14 15 years old and um, that had started back I couldn't eat. I, everything hurt. And when it hit the bottom of my stomach, bam, my stomach contracted and it wanted to be out. And so they started with the camera down my throat and they took a biopsy and said it wasn't cancer. And um, I had lost from 120 pounds, which is as much weight as I've ever been able to have on. And I'm five foot seven. So I was always thin. Um, I went from 120 pounds to 100 at the lowest, and um, that had happened in about a month, month to two months span. So that's why they were running all these tests very quickly, trying to find out if I had cancer. But the cancer tests quickly came back because those are blood tests, and they quickly came back saying that I did not, and um, which was whew, thank God, <laughs> but. Um, I do have gastroparesis and um, the doctor suggested medications and medications for me do not do well. Whatever it's the bad side effect is, I'm going to get it. And um, there are things like um, painkillers, things like that that don't work at all. I mean, if it goes through my stomach, it just nullifies it. And so it doesn't work. And I've had antibiotics that didn't work. They didn't do anything. And so um, one of the side effects, or one of, one of the side effects of most of these medications is actually fatal. And I didn't want to try that. And, um, but for the insurance companies to even consider a um, stomach stimulator, which was his next option, you have to take the medication for two months and have it not work. But for two months, I'm taking a chance of dying. And I have five kids and a dog and a husband to take care of. So, no, that wasn't an option for me. So I, um, and I told him, in the, isn't there a third option? Or I asked him, isn't there a third option of, um, of a feeding tube? And he said, if you want a feeding tube, I can put a feeding tube.
feeding tube in in 10 minutes. And we laughed and I said, I think that might be the best option for me. Except I had a couple questions because um, I normally, except for the past year, lead a pretty active life. Um, my husband and I hike and um, we love the mountains and um, when we're down by the sea, we are, well, not so much he's in the water, he doesn't like water, but um, I'm in the water and um, I needed to know if I could still do these things. Can I, can I get it wet? Can I get it wet in the ocean where it could get bacteria? Um, I know you can get it wet in a shower, but um, that's clean water. And um, he said that it's fine, that, that there are ways of waterproofing it and probably just a waterproof bandage, I don't know. But they'll explain it to me next Tuesday when they put it in. And um, he said that I could still do everything that I could do before. I'd be able to gain the weight back and um, plus some, that would be great. I, I could use about 10 more pounds than I've ever had. So 130 would be great. <laughs> and um, I don't really know what I'm in for. Um, I'm assuming from my research that it's a J-tube, which is, um, well, we'll probably get more into this later, but there's three different kinds. There's the one that goes up your nose, down your stomach, and there is one that goes into your stomach, which is the G-tube, and um, there's one that goes into your intestine and bypasses your stomach, and that's the J-tube. So I'm assuming that they're bypassing my stomach, but um, we didn't really specifically talk about that. We just, he immediately got it scheduled and he wanted it in as quickly as possible. The weight loss bothered him. And um, so I am going to have a feeding tube. I posted it <laughs> on my personal Facebook and had friends that were sending me condolences. And I was kind of thought that was strange at first because I've always had trouble eating, always, and um, I would forget to eat because the food from yesterday is still there, still in my stomach. So um, forgetting to eat was normal, and um, I wasn't hungry. I've never been hungry, and um, I always used to joke that they should make those little Jetson pills that you could take the whole, your whole meal all at once, but. They don't make those, so, <laughs> so I, um, I was kind of like, why are they all like, oh, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. No, this has been happening to me for 50 years, and this is going to be the cure. Well, not the cure, but the, the treatment for it. So I didn't feel that people should feel bad for me. I wrote back to most of them that this is not a bad thing. This is a very good thing for me. And um, to find out this after 50 years of struggling with it and to find out that I was autistic this year uh, as well, um, we always, we've known for a long, long time that my son was autistic, but we didn't know that I was. And um, Asperger's, a high functioning form of um, autism. And so it has been um, quite a roller coaster of a year. Um, and this is good news. This is actually good news. I'm excited. I was even looking through um, Etsy and looking for um, pads that go under the little piece that'll stick out and that tends to irritate your skin. And so I, um, they make little pretty washable pads that go underneath them. You can have different characters on them and so I had a good time ordering five or six of those this morning <laughs> and um, and this is really exciting news it sounds not exciting but for me it really is and um, I had decided to let this be known publicly 
because there are other people out there that have these problems. And when I looked online, there just wasn't a whole lot. Um, there's, I learned, I think, the most from one um, vlog called The Fry Family. And um, it's the cutest, adorable couple that um, she has cystic fibrosis, and he's a pastor, and she has a feeding tube. And she talks about it, and she shows how it works and how to fill it, and you know what? She goes her daily life. And so I was thinking, I would like to show how normal our life is going to be with this feeding tube. It's not going to be anything for condolences, anything to feel sorry for me for, because I'm not sorry for me. I don't feel sorry for me at all. <laughs> this is great. One of my favorite things to do in the world is paddle boarding, and I want to get back to it. And we're um, moving to be closer to the ocean next year and out of the altitude, because right now we live at 7,000 feet, and um, it, it is cold. And it is, and we're tired of the, the breathing heavy and so on and so forth. So we're moving back to sea level. And, um, and you'll be seeing our normal, everyday life with autism and a feeding tube. And along with my opinions on a lot of things, because that's what the Sandy slant on everything is. Because I have a lot of opinions and... Um, and I have a lot of stuff that that I have to say, and so why not make a vlog out of it? But this is the start of a new path, and um, I thank you for stopping by. And if you're interested or you want to, hit the subscribe button and the like button. Either one. Hit them both. And um, keep watching. If and we'll do some fun stuff. We we usually do. We do a lot of fun stuff. And I got a lot of kids. And now we have a grandchild. So there's going to be a lot of fun things going on. And um, and I want to share them. So join me. And I will be seeing you again very soon.